Admiral Cruller? That canoe, are you in love with it? it what? No, no, I'm just checking it for psychic residue. <laughs> Some kind of fish has been tearing holes in our canoes. Now I'm trying to pick up its scent. Ah, don't worry now, baby. Nobody's ever gonna hurt you again. I promise. Whoa! Uh, Elton, I hope you're not waiting for me. Oh, jeez, sorry. Carry on, sailor. That's weird. Those guys just left all their stuff out here. Wonder what happened to them. TV! Hacky sack! Yes, hacky sack. Oh no! They're all brainless! Hi, Raz. Vernon, you're okay! Yeah, we're great. Me and my pals Kitty and Frankie are just hanging out telling stories and watching the boob tube. TV! Vernon, look at them! They're zombies! It did seem kind of weird when they let me get this close to them. And then they didn't mind when I talked all through the show. Kitty even agreed to go on a date with me, more or less. We're gonna play hacky sack. Keep an eye on them, Vernon. I'm gonna go figure out what's causing this. Roger that, Raz. Dogen! TV? Yeah, good idea. You rest here while I find your brains. So welcome, 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 welcome to my mind, welcome to my mind, welcome to my mind. What are you guys doing up here? Oh, hey, Raz! Didn't see you there. We're just looking at the sunset. Shh, just wait until he leaves. It is a nice sunset, isn't it? Yes. yes. <laughs> Let me go! What to do with small bully assistant? Geez, I don't know. Could you put him in that deadly Nelson you were talking about? Could. On such tiny opponent, all blood might drain out ear holes. Ah! Shut up, Benny. On the other hand, blood from constricted trunk could rush to tongue. And? Tongue swells, pops. Most blood drains back down throat. Interesting. Less mess that way. Mouth stuffed with giant tongue can't scream. So quieter. Ah! Uh, shut up, Benny. You have something less drastic? Well, could use half Deadly Nelson. What's that? Like Deadly Nelson, but less dying. How much less? Maybe half. What happens the other half of the time? Opponent leaves. Spends the rest of short life praying for death. Hey! Can you hear me down there? Maloof? Shut up, Benny. Seriously, Maloof, I apologize. A call off you, goon, and I'll never bother you again, ever. The thing is, Benny, you're never going to bother me again either way. So you're going to have to offer something a lot better than that. Like what? Any ideas, Mikhail? No one you think about giant hairless bear? No. Out of ideas. Preparing Nelson. But wait, wait! Uh, maybe, uh, yeah, m maybe I did see something like that. Uh, give me a minute to think. You ready to talk, Benny? Hold on, it'll come to me. You know, Chloe, for a chick whose face I can't see because she's always wearing a helmet, you're pretty cute. I'm not human, Earth Primate. But you are the girl model of whatever it is you are, right? Affirmative. At this point, that's totally close enough. Man, what smells like butt? Oh, hey, Nils. How about you and your butt and its odor take a hike before I puke? But... 
it'd be a real shame if you had to leave your butt here because it was anchored to my foot. Now beat it! Hi, Chloe. <laughs> How is it, uh, in, I mean, <laughs> you know, what's up and stuff? Bobby, we need to work on you a little. Hey, I can levitate. Want to see my merit badge? Uh, that's great. You can just float up on out of this forest then. Because the forest, it's off limits. Now get. Hey, check it out. I'm halfway done with the scavenger hunt. Holy smokes, look at that. Well then, here's the first half of your reward. Now don't be lazy. Finish that list. Get. I don't care how long you two have been partners. James is my boyfriend now. Do you know what that means? Uh, well, he wears his good parade chaps a lot more. Yes, he's less filthy, that's part of it. But the biggest change is that he can't possibly waste as much time as he used to hanging out with his loser friends. I don't like you. And I don't like you. So that covers everything we have in common. Now for the differences. I'm going to be with James all the time from now on. You're going to have to stay as far away from us as possible, or I'm going to make your life more miserable than I imagine it already is. Okay. I'm a certified limitator now. Ready to roll. Hmm. I've been running some tests. It seems that the sensitive circuitry of the brain tumbler is picking up too much psychic interference to be safe. The thoughts of some other entity are interlacing with yours at a dangerous level, which explains many of the strange things you've seen. I must call off the experiments until we know more. Sasha, there's no time. I think my vision about Dogen came true. I'm worried it's gonna happen to the others if we don't get to the bottom of this quick. But we don't know where the foreign projections are coming from yet. Is there a faster way to find out than sending me in there to investigate? Screaming? All right, I remember. Uh. <laughs> oh, good boy. There's that pesky brain. Here's a tissue. Now, don't you feel better, my dear lad? TV? Of course! Right here! And this bad tooth. We'll just drop it in the old garbage chute. Now don't chew solid foods for six hours! Lily!
I am so smart. Soft gelatinous underbelly, here I come. a nightmare or a plan or both wait a minute Rasputin, I'm sorry. I had to abort the experiment. Something unbelievably urgent has come up and I must leave immediately. I know! You'll never believe- Hold that thought. In a rush. Official psychonaut business. Wait! So is this! Official psychonaut, eh? You forgot your hmm. Hey, that white room. I know. It's from Oleander's mind. I think I was in the coach's dream that whole time. Ever since I stepped through the static in the caravan, it felt funny. I knew I wasn't obsessed with meat. But Maury is. And was stealing psychic brains to arm a fleet of deadly tanks, apparently. I've got to tell Lily. She's waiting for me down by the boathouse. Down by the... water? Uh-oh. Better hurry. Bobby! Uh-oh. Look, I can explain. TV. TV. Jeez, it sounds like you caught a bad cold. Maybe. But listen, I traced the psychic interference back to Coach Oleander's radio. He's been broadcasting his insane plot all over camp in his sleep. So he's really kidnapping children and stealing their brains to make weapons. Yes! Isn't that great? What? How is that great? Because this is an honest-to-goodness psychic emergency! And Sasha's not here. He left on some official psychonauts business. Mia left a note saying the same thing! Lily, a deranged man-man is building an army of psychic death tanks to take over the world. And there's no one who can stop him, except for you and me! Oh my god! Let's make out! Uh, what? Sorry, I'm just so excited. Since you showed up, Raz, things are so much more exciting. Sinister death plots, mad scientists, hideous monsters. Make out? How long have I ignored what this camp had to offer? Everything's new to me now, thanks to you. I mean, look at this flower. You mean, like, kiss? How many years have I been coming here and I've never even noticed a cool flower like this before? <laughs> Thank you.